if you know fragrance notes, they kind of give you a ballpark idea. But when it's a fragrance like Herba Pura, you just don't know what to expect. That was one of the craziest performing fragrances I've ever encountered in my life. I've mentioned it in previous videos how I've gotten in trouble when I used to work in an office setting and was crazy enough to spray that joint on my cardigan. That fragrance almost cleared out an entire floor of employees like a hundred people. It was that wild. The intensity and performance of that fragrance was one that both surprised me and traumatized me at the same time. So when I found out that there's a herbal leather by Sospito, I'm both curious and terrified. But there's only one way to find out if we found a new bombastic performing beast, or is it just all right? Let's roll map the music so we can check out Sospito Herba Leva with a V. <laughs> Bless and my beautiful people, you know who it is, it's your boy C to the U to the B to the A. Shout out to Max Aroma for sponsoring today's video. I did request this fragrance for a review because Herba Leather must be in the same space of the Herba Magica and Herba Pura, but in leather format, right, Captain Obvious? Like if you can give me a dope leather fragrance that had that kind of performance and still has maybe some sort of unique factor, I mean, you got a guaranteed hit, but we don't know that yet, now do we? Now the main thing that caught my attention with this fragrance was its leather and passion fruit according to the notes. Now that combination seems lit, so that's very interesting to me. And ooh, we have a damaged bottle, Houston. Herba, leather, and black, but look, it's got a little bit of a damage there. Mm-mm, I don't like it. Quality control issue. Throw this shit against the wall. Whoa, just take it easy, man. All right, but before I shatter it, let's read the notes specifically. All right, so the notes are listed as passion fruit, bergamot, and lemon, followed by leva, jasmine, and sandalwood, and at the base, we got vetiver, amber, and leather once again. So this should be a very prominent, dryish kind of leather with a nice fruitiness, like tropical fruit pa I want some chinola in my fragrance. I I want to smell that passion fruit. I want it to be lively, sexy, and robust. And that's what I'm going to hope with this particular fragrance. So let's see if this has the same type of performance and energy as Herba Pura with leather. That is fucking delicious. Absolute passion fruit. So if you take Tuscan leather and remove that raspberry and add passion fruit, that's very nice. That's very fucking nice. <laughs> there is an element of clean laundry here too. A little bit of a Tide action which passion fruit does have, like if you smell a chinola drink, which is passion fruit drink, like a Caribbean cocktail with matte ice at 3.30 in the morning after eating a chimi off a truck, which has a D-list rating and the dude never wears gloves. You know, usually the empanadas are right next to the pig intestines that are there, like how many pounds of this you want? Chinola or passion fruit does have that kind of laundry-ish detergent cleanliness smell. And this just brought that back to my head. I'm like, yo, you know what? The shit does actually smell like passion fruit because the actual passion fruit drink has kind of that smell. You know what I'm happy about here? That this doesn't have the Herba Pura DNA, meaning that the Herba Pura was just so obnoxiously loud, what a lot of people like. It is a compliment grabbing fragrance, but it is also a little bit jarring. The shit was just wow crazy, like 10 plus hour performance, very sweet, dry, sparky musk. It was a lot. This one doesn't have that. Like here, the star is the passion fruit and leather, and it's right up there up top. It doesn't feel like it's overly loud but it does feel like it got some balls. Right, I'm gonna try this puppy on skin. That is very good, very up to speed, a good leather fragrance with a nice unique quality, adding that passion fruit element there. There's also a little bit of ambery nuance in here that helps with that sweetness. Woo. That passion fruit is punchy off the skin. Passion fruit is not letting leather be the star in this fragrance. Hey! Look at me, sure. Look at me, sure. I'm the captain now. Like, nah, 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 Papo, I'm on top. Un merenguito y encendido. I'm gonna be the king of this scent. This is lit. You definitely can tell it's got a nice sillage bubble. I'm all up in the nose. It's burning the nostrils a little bit, so it's definitely trying to spread its wings out. Sexy, sweet, leather, dry in the air. The leather is buttery. It's per it's It's got a fire balance. Like, I'm truly enjoying this a bit more than Tuscan leather. The passion fruit adds such a beautiful, sweet element, a little bit of a tropical type vibe. The leather is buttery soft. The amber is perfectly done. The vetiver adds a little bit of dry earthiness to this fragrance, but there's a beautiful balance and synergy right after passion fruit really lets his big balls hang out because it wants to be the star for a minute, but it starts to really balance out off my skin. So right now, a little bit of like a zesty lemon 
ish vibe is coming up. Passion fruit is still the star. Leather is still up there right under passion fruit. There's a little bit more citrus component coming out. I think again, it's more vetiver really popping up, adding to that dryness, adding a little bit of a citrus element. I think this is beautiful, a great leather fragrance. I'm like, it's about fucking time that this herba lineup does something that won't murder people. I mean, I'm a little disgruntled about this damaged bottle, but one of the things with Max Aroma, if you got damaged shit like that, you can reach out to them and be like, yo, look, this shit is damaged and they'll hook you up. So it's not something you gotta worry about there. That is absolutely a ball sprayer. I don't know what their performance or longevity is. It definitely has a sillage bubble. It's a nice, sexy, unique fragrance, a very well-balanced leathery fragrance with a beautiful, sweet Caribbean fruit brightness in this joint. That is a leather well done. Personally, I would prefer this over Tuscan leather, but for me, as a youth who grew up with passion fruit, like this really resonates with me. The passion fruit is very lively, very sweet, very ripe, very tropical. And then the leather just adds a beautiful butteriness. That is, that is a stellar fragrance. I love how this shit smells. For leather fragrances, it's up there with one of the beast ones. I think this is absolutely beautiful, absolute ball spray. Bro, that passion fruit is everything. It is life, bro. But if you don't like passion fruit, forget it. This is just not gonna be for you. Do not pass go, go that way. This is beautiful. Wow, it's very good in the air. Holy shit, it's beautiful. Oh, they, they wanna come. Are you sure, sure? Well done. It's the passion fruit. Yeah, it's the passion fruit. The passion fruit in the air right now. Woohoo! In the air, way better. Wow. Yeah, I love y'all mother suckers from the heart. Shout out to Max Aroma for sponsoring today's video. And, and I'll put a link in the description if you guys are interested in this joint. Side note, I think that passion fruit is actually allowing this to be a versatile leather that can be pulled off in the summertime in warm weather too. That's good. I love y'all mother suckers from the heart. Have you smelled herba leather? And I know that there's a, another herb. I think it's herba gold. I gotta smell that joint too. But have you smelled this joint? And if you're a leather fragrance, get a sample at least of this. That is very good. I'll see y'all snitches next time. You know who it is. Biggest in the game. It's a game, it's a game, but he don't play. Hey, for all the chicks that got dead in the penthouse suite on top of my mom's crib. Hey. It's lost since you never get in. It's lost since you would think that you would. <laughs>